Hi everyone, Robert Villanueva here. Over a buyer's couple. And of course, as always, I'll see you at the top. All right, so you're up this week, so let's go ahead and uh, jump right in. We're gonna, uh, we'll continue on um, the, of course, prequel. So <clears throat> whenever you're ready. Okay, well, ring, ring, ring. Hello. Hello, Robert. Uh, yes. Good morning. This is David Aristamian, your realtor calling. I'm calling to confirm our appointment for tomorrow at three. Does that time still work for you and Julie? Uh, yeah, that, that, that's fine. Awesome. Well, I'm excited to meet with you. And before I come out, Robert, as promised, I had a number of questions I needed to ask you. If what I say makes sense tomorrow and you and Julie feel comfortable and confident and really feel I can sell your home, are you planning to list your home with me when I see you? Um, yeah, I mean, I think so. I mean, we, we did speak to another realtor that we weren't really too fond of, but <clears throat> um, other than that, yeah, I mean, we're, we're ready to get this thing going. Well, we're, we are ready to get it going for you as well. Um, so after the other appointment you mentioned, you're not planning on interviewing any other agents after me. Is that right? Uh, well, I know Julie was talking about some other agent that actually came by in the area, but I told her, you know, I really just want to, um, you know, just hear with what David's got going first. And then at that point in time, we'll make a decision whether we need a, a, a third opinion. Perfect. So at that point, you'll decide if you need a third opinion or not. And hopefully I'll be able to save you your time. Uh, Robert, tell me again, where are you and Julie moving to? Um, well, we're definitely looking at making that move to San Diego, just trying to get down uh, down in that vicinity. In the San Diego vicinity, perfect. Mm -hmm. And what's important about getting down to San Diego for you and Julie? Um, just, you know, it's always been a goal of mine. It's always been something that I want to get uh, in the uh, San Diego area, <clears throat> you know, and then uh, just kind of finish my days there. You want to finish your days in San Diego? I don't blame you. San Diego is beautiful. Who's mm -hmm. most excited about making that move to San Diego? Um, probably more me. I mean, I, I, I've been talking about this for the last 20 years and, you know, she, she's definitely been on board, but, uh, you know, I, I, I think if it was up to her, she'd be, you know, pretty much indifferent about it. So she's indifferent about it, <laughs> but it is one of your goals. Mm -hmm. We'll just make sure that um, she's comfortable and confident with making that move as well. We Happy wife, happy life, right? Yeah, for sure. Definitely. How soon do you want to be in San Diego? I know it's been a goal of yours for 20 years. Um, not really in a dire rush. I mean, it is uh, something that, um, you know, it's the it's the eventual inevitable. Um, but time frame wise, we really don't have any any sort of urgency. OK, so no urgency. It's perfect to know that we're not going to have to rush to get you out of this place. We will make sure we get you top dollar. OK, sure. Okay. And speaking of which, Robert, when I see you, how much do you want me to list your home for? Um, you know, we've kind of been leaning towards, um, <clears throat> you know, 800, 825, right in that vicinity. 800 to 825. Perfect. I wrote that down. And as a professional real estate agent, you know that I study homes and prices every day. Therefore, I assume you'll list with me at a price that'll cause it to sell within a reasonable time frame. Is that right? Right. Perfect. So Robert, what price won't you go below? Um, I don't think I'd go below 800,000. I mean, I, I really, really think that, um, you know, we can get on the other side of that. I agree. And I think we will get you every dollar out of it above that. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, sounds good. Awesome. Robert, how much do you still owe on the property or is it free and clear? No, we have a very small note. I mean, we were probably right around 60, $70,000. We should be able to get that thing paid off probably here next year if we, uh, you know, um, if, if we were to write the whole thing out. So if you stay, you'll pay it off next year. And yeah. I'll use between 60 and 70,000 for the net sheet, which I'll prepare for you. <clears throat> Obviously, you, you haven't thought about selling it yourself, right? You want a professional agent you mentioned to help you this time around. I mean, it's an option. I mean, I, you know, it's an option. It's not something that I'd prefer to do. Um, I did sell a house. It was a rental property probably about 15 years ago. <clears throat> Not going to lie, it was an absolute disaster. So I don't know if I want to revisit that. No more disasters. We've got your back. I specialize in getting top dollar for sellers mm -hmm. like you. Um, yeah. Knowing that you don't have much to pay off, would you help finance the home for the buyer or do you just simply want your cash out? Uh, it really depends on the offer. 
um, you know, making the move down to San Diego, it's going to cost a little bit more, um, probably about a good 20, 25% more just to get the same type of house. So <clears throat> I'd rather put a larger down than, you know, be in a position where I'm carrying any sort of notes. Perfect. So we'll focus on pulling the cash out for you and Julie. Okay. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Robert, could you please describe the property for me? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's a nice property. It's, you know, three bedrooms, it's got two and a half baths and, um, you know, we, we've we've been here for some time and we've done a very good job of taking care of the property. It's, I, I guess, <clears throat> as the industry calls it, turnkey. So <clears throat> we have um, we have the RV parking on the side. Um, we sit on the uh, half acre. Um, we redid the kitchen probably about a good, maybe three, uh, three or four years ago. And uh, I mean, uh, you know, we are seldomly, if ever, in there other than going into the fridge. <laughs> so, um, I have that problem that. too sometimes. Yeah, um, but I mean, it, it's 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 a very lightly lived-in home. I'll tell you that. Okay, perfect. So, what I wrote down here is I wrote down three bedrooms, two and a half baths, very well maintained, turnkey. We have RV parking. We have a half-acre lot. And it's lightly lived in, meaning that, you know, it's really not, it's taken really well care of. And then the next buyers, even though the home's 20 years old, the next buyer might look at it as only being five years old because yeah. it just has, hasn't been used. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Any other recent renovations I should know about? A hot water heater, air conditioner, roof? No, I mean, everything's been fairly well, well maintained. So yeah, I mean, everything's in, in really good shape. Okay, great. Well, excited to see it. I'm going to be working on what we call a pre-listing packet. It's a mm -hmm. packet of information. And I would you take a few moments to review it with Julie before I see you tomorrow at three? Yeah, I, I'll make sure I'll, you know, I'll go over it in as detailed as I can. Perfect. I'll have that delivered by three o'clock today. And other than you and Julie, are there any other decisions decision makers that need to be present tomorrow? Um not. Not really. I mean, you know, I, I owe my brother a little cash, but it's it's nothing that, um, you know, that's going to keep us from selling this place. Um, but, um, you know, I owe him about $50,000. He lent me some money to get a, a business startup uh, about 10 years ago. And I told him when I'd sell it, I'd give it to him then. So which, which he's which he's OK with. <clears throat> OK, so he's on board with that as well. Understood. Mm -hmm. yep. And you mentioned San Diego, Robert. I just wanted to revisit very, very quickly. Who's your agent in San Diego helping you with your purchase down there? Yeah, we don't we don't really have one. We just go down there and, you know, been going to open houses, um, you know, every other weekend and just kind of getting a feel of the land. OK, and I don't blame you for doing that. I think that's a great idea. I'm going to go ahead and put you in touch with one of my preferred specialists in that area to help you with that purchase to mm -hmm. make sure that you get the best deal down there as possible. OK, sure. Yeah. Wonderful. Any questions before I see you tomorrow? Um, <clears throat> I mean, tell me a little bit about the commission. I mean, what, uh, what, what is it that you charge? So the commission is something that's always negotiable. It's a great question. What we'll do is we'll make the commission the first thing we talk about when I see you tomorrow at three. Does that sound fair? Yeah, I just want to be upfront, though. I'm not really looking at paying 6%. Um, are, are, are you okay with that? Yeah, that's a great question. So you don't have to pay 6% if you decide not to. It is mm -hmm. absolutely your call at the end of the day what the commission is going to be. Mm -hmm. uh, what I'm hearing from you is <clears throat> you want to make sure you net the most amount of money possible in your pocket after the commissions are paid out. Is that correct? Mm, yeah, I mean, pretty much. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. That's exactly what I specialize in. And I'll share that with you when I see you tomorrow at 3 o'clock, okay? Yeah, sounds good. Excellent. And just so you know, our meeting will take anywhere between 30 and 40 minutes. Is that okay? Um, yeah, yeah, it's perfectly fine. Great. Well, I'll see you and Julie tomorrow at three o'clock. All right. <clears throat> good stuff, man. <clears throat> always, always, always good stuff. So really, really couldn't, I was trying to identify things that um, I really wanted to kind of low light, um, call you out on. And there wasn't really anything. I mean, <laughs> I think the only thing I probably would have done is there's always a little bit of that hiccup on the commission part you know, the kind of the hesitance. And uh, I think if anything, probably just a little bit more fluid. Um, yeah. You know, that's probably about it. There's kind of always this awkward like resistance. Um, that's probably the only place that I really kind of got stuck on. Um, 
And one word that I like to use when we get something we don't like, whether it's the, I'm going to relist with the same agent, you know, I decided to just take it off the market. I'm not going to pay 6%. Anything of anything from that direction, I always like to use the word option. You know, David, that's definitely an option. I totally get that. And here's the best part about it, if I may. Um, you're not going to pay me one cent more than what you feel as if the well more. Okay, so you get to determine right. what, what I'm worth. So sometimes when it comes across a little bit more fluid, they like the idea of that confidence. <clears throat> um, yeah. um, that's probably the, uh, the, the thing. And then the only other thing that I wrote down was get me an agent in San Diego, but you did a good job in recovery of that, um, you know, towards the end. Cause, uh, you know, initially it was the San Diego part, <clears throat> but not asking, you know, do you have a realtor that you're working with? Right. Yeah. So or just you, saying, who's the agent that you're working with? Because if you say, do you have <laughs> one? They'll say yes. <laughs> and then <laughs> you won't really be able to get in the door. Um, yeah. Get your you know, your referral and endure. So yeah, I like exactly. to say who, because if they can't come up with a name, you know, that agent's not doing the best job mm -hmm. or they don't yeah. have one. Yeah, absolutely. Very good. Um, overall, again, I, you know, really, really good job. Um, <clears throat> there isn't really much more that I can probably in a sense add to. Um, it's always a matter of just trying to find the how to keep it light, which you did yeah. a better job of. Your, your, um, your um, <clears throat> how can I put it? Uh, I don't want to necessarily say friendliness, but it, it was it was welcoming all the way throughout where mm -hmm. the last time we role played two weeks ago, it was kind of like you went through the halfway point and then you got like serious on me. So yeah. um, where I stayed serious the entire time, but you did a good job in terms of con continuing and maintaining, um, you know, that that positive approach. So good job from that perspective as well. So thank you for that. Yeah, I think that's really important because. I mean, the prequel is a little bit of a dogfight. You know, you're you're trying to pull some information out of them that they always want to keep from you and say, you know, well, we'll talk about that when we see you. Um, mm -hmm. And they're just they just have their guard up. So I mm -hmm. feel like the friendlier we are, and and e even if we chat a few times before the prequel, it really loosens people up before the prequel to to give us what we need because this is what we need yeah. to to get the listing signed. So yeah, and then it, not so much from a critique standpoint, but just something just to add. Um, in separate of with what we're talking about. Um, when I'm working with an analytical and you can tell that, you know, you're talking with an analytical because a good percentage of the time they're giving you numbers or giving you right. kind of like facts and figures is I'll, I'll throw back at them, you know, David, at a scale one to 10, as far as your home is concerned, how, how would you rate your home? Oh, my house is great. You know, we so lightly lived in, I'd probably say about a nine. Okay, well, what would make it a 10? Yes. So now they give us the dirt. Um, and then that's the part where um, when I present when I go through presentation, and again, I only do this with analyticals, I'll go, <clears throat> you know, um, you know, are you familiar with this first property when I'm going through comps? Okay. Now this property right here, David, I really honestly didn't want to bring it to you because this house is like a seven out of 10. You mentioned yours is a nine out of 10, but I did have to bring it because unfortunately it's three doors down, blah, blah, blah. Hmm. And then the other way around, I'll say, see, this one's a 10. And the only reason it's a 10 is because it has all of the great features and benefits yours has but it also has the new roof. It also has the, the pool. So, and then that way they can kind of, in a sense, gauge. And I'll even write the number next to the property. I'll say seven, Ooh, you know, eight, that. 10, stuff like that. Because <clears throat> especially with analyticals, we know that they always, always justify it. <laughs> whatever, whatever num right. number that's in their mind, they will look for a way to justify it. That's right. You know, uh, I'm an analytical. Paper. It's on my uh, script, man. It says, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And um, like just perfect example, you know, it's, it's sit there and say, well, on a scale of one to 10, you rated it a nine and what would make it a 10? Well, I haven't painted it in forever. And then all of a sudden we get to that point. Yeah. But you know what? <clears throat> you know, you could paint it for like $4,000. I mean, is it really going to have that big of an impact? Well, yeah, it is. It's going to yeah. have that much more curb appeal. Okay. So then let's go ahead and reduce it by 4,000. No, it doesn't work that way. <laughs> <laughs> so, but um all right, cool, man. Well, I always appreciate you. And um, yeah, let's uh, pick up next week. And uh, I'll, I'll talk to you then, man. Sounds All right. Good. Thank I'll you. I'll see you later. Mm -hmm. see Bye. Hi, everyone. Robert Villanueva here. Over a buyer's couple. And of course, as always, I'll see you at the top.